Hey, Sister Ritas, Jessica Jarris here. Uh, welcome to the Sister Rita Club. All right, so process video number two. I am going to work to build this out as my prayer Bible. Um, this is what we are going to be doing together. If this is the first time that you are tuning into this video, we are working as Sister Ritas together to build out our compact Bibles and make them our prayer Bibles. So, I will leave the link below in the description box so you can see the flip through to this Bible where we are praying specific themes over our friends and family. Um, and like for my kids, work ethic, join the Lord, purity. And then I'm taking these themes, this is just a very high level um, explanation, but taking these uh, themes and tabbing them like purity, and that's my Bible verse, or um, I'm doing like daily prayers, and here's my Bible verse. Or I'm talking about God's attributes. There's my Bible verse. So I'm able to really delve into my prayer life and just blow it up and excited to pray the scriptures over my friends, family, myself. And so let's do that in this Bible. Also, I will include the um, themes in the Bible verses uh, that you can use. You can pick between these two Bibles and do what you would like on your own. I will also drop the link to the video that is right before this video. So before you watch this video, watch the video that is entitled the video that Satan does not want me to post because that will tell you the supplies that you need and kind of review the themes that are going to go into this Bible. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Again, this, there might be a few different videos for this. I'm just allowing you to walk alongside of me as I build this out, um, and you can do it with me, and we can enjoy doing it together. So for the sake of time on the videos and how many you need to see or want to watch, I'll probably separate them. And also include your comments below, because if you do have any questions or comments, I'll do another video on answering those and then also i'm going to do a video where i actually pray the scriptures with you all so you can see that too so as i mentioned in the last one you'll want these tags and kind of build this out with photos i'm going to pass on that right now um you don't you know you don't need to necessarily spend that time with me uh, maybe i'll do a video on it actually um and then i'll do like a final flip through but for right now i'm just going to kind of go in and, and dig in deep with the scriptures so all right, the first theme that I'm going to start building out, I might as well, is let's do being honest. So I have this right here. And again, in the uh, check out the video about uh, the video that Satan doesn't want me to post. I'll share all this, but I'm going to do being honest. And the first verse, as you can see, is Proverbs 10, 9. All right, so I'm going to go to Proverbs which is right after Psalms. Do, 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 do. Proverbs 10, 9. Proverbs 10, 9. Okay. And this is being honest. Proverbs 10, 9. You can see right here, Proverbs 10, 9. People with integrity walk safely, but those who follow crooked paths will be exposed. So such a good verse. So I'm going to take my Bible highlighter. I've got this green one uh, right here by Fila, Bible gel highlighters. And that was Proverbs 10, 9. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. Okay. Now, like I mentioned in that Satan doesn't want me to post this video. That's a really long title. <laughs> you want to match your tabs with your themes. So if you'll notice here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight verses for this theme. So being honest, I like organized which ones I'm going to actually do from this pack. So I'm sorry about my messy handwriting. Let's see, where was being honest? Do, 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 do. Honest, honest, honest. Oh, truth. Okay. Purple, jagged so which ones are my purple jagged tabs let me spill these out 
Purple Jagged. I think that these are them. That looks about right. Purple Jagged. It is such a beautiful day outside, Sisteritas. I'm so excited for fall. All right, that must be Purple Jagged. So I said eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let me make sure I'm right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, I was right. Okay. So I'm going to use these tabs and I'm going to go in here and I am literally just going to tab it like that. Oh, you got to make sure it's totally even. All right. Set it down. Yep. And then I'm going to take a pen and I am going to write on the side. Honesty, or you could say being honest. So now every, if I'm like, oh wait, which one was that tab? And I'm not exactly remembering once I turn to it, I'll see where it says honesty and instantly I'll remember that that's the tab. All right, so, and I think what I'm gonna do for the next one is actually right on the side because that looks pretty wet. So um, I should have gotten Sharpies. All right, and then Proverbs 12, 22. So we're in Proverbs 12. I'm gonna to go to verse 22. And it says, the Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in those who tell the truth. Such a good verse. And I think what I'm gonna do just for the fun of it, is kind of switch up my colors. And these are Mr. Pen highlighters. So I'm gonna take this, and it was Proverbs 12, 22. I like these highlighters way better because the other ones kind of leave like a little bit of a residue. All right, and I'm gonna put this right here and match it up. And then I'm just gonna write on the side. Honesty. And boom, that one's done. All right, so now Proverbs 19.1. Okay, Proverbs 19.1. Better to be poor and honest than to be dishonest and a fool. Isn't that a powerful verse? All right, so now... Okay, one thing I want to point out, you can see that these tabs now are like really squished. So I can separate these actually. That's why I like these tabs is they're easy to remove versus stickers. So look, I can just peel that off, no problem, and I'm just going to move it up there. So then that way, now when you close it, see how they're separated? I like that a lot better. All right, so now I'm going to take this purple jagged one. And I'm just going to put it right here. Oops. Hold on. Right there. All right. And I'm going to say honesty. Okay. So now we are going for Proverbs. We already did 19.1. Ephesians 4.25. So we'll go to Ephesians. I love having the Bible tabs because it makes it easy to find the verses. But I wouldn't want to do that here because that would mess me up with my prayer tabs. Okay, so I'm just going to make it easy for us. Let's just do this. All right, Ephesians is 895. Ephesians 8, 95. Okay, so we're here. And then it's first or chapter four, chapter four, verse 25. You can see I'm just going down the list. And I can actually just check these. So we're at 425. So I'm in chapter four, verse 25. Right here. 
So stop telling lies. Tell, let us tell our neighbors the truth, for we are all part of the same body. All right, so I'm going to highlight this first right here. And then I'm just going to put on my tab. And look, when I close it, look how pretty that looks. And then I'm going to write honesty on the side. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go to Colossians 3, 9 through 10. So now you're getting the idea. All right. Colossians 9, 0, 2. Okay. So Colossians 3, 9 through 10. So right here. Three, nine through ten. All right. So this is three, nine through ten. Boom. And this one is don't lie to each other, for you have stripped off your old sinful nature and all its wicked deeds. Put on your new nature and be renewed as you lean or as you learn to know your creator and become like him. That's such a good verse. All right. And then I'm going to type or write in honesty. All right. All right. So now we are going to go to 1 John 2, 4. And 1 John is like one page of the Bible. 1 John 2, 4. All right. 2... Or if someone claims I know God but doesn't obey God's commandments, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. Very powerful. I like this highlighter. All right. And I think I'll stick it up here so I can have a little bit of a variety there. Honesty. Okay, John 8.44. So John is one of the Gospels. First John is not one of the Gospels. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is a part of the Gospel. So I'm going to go to John 8.44. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I have something in my throat. <clears> throat> oh, I'm so sorry, Sister Jesus. Okay. Um... For, <clears throat> for you are the children of your father, the devil, and you love to do the evil things he does. He was a murderer from the beginning. He has always hated the truth because there's no truth in him. When he lies, it is consistent with his character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. And that's an important verse because when you are experiencing a lie that you believe about yourself, then you need to remember that that's a lie of the enemy. That's not from God. And, um, and remind yourself that you don't need to be, be believing those negative thoughts that are just not true and they're not from God. So, all right, we're going to put honesty here. All right, and now we are going to be on our last one, Exodus 20, 16. So Exodus is one of the first books of the Bible. Exodus 20, 16. I actually, well, I, I shouldn't say I actually love the book of Exodus. I love every book of the Bible, but Exodus is a really exciting book. It's very chock full of excitement. So Exodus 20, 16. What do we have here? Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Ah, I got you shaking all over the place. You're you must not testify falsely against your neighbor. And I included that one because um, that's part of like gossiping and um, spreading like false lies or lies to your neighbor, like to your friend um, or somebody that's not your friend actually, or, you know, just anybody in your sphere of influence that's sinful and something that I do not want to be a part of. I don't want my family or friends or children to engage in. So I'm going to pray that prayer over them. So I've tabbed that and look, oh my gosh, it's so cute. We've got the first wrong completely done. All right. So 
We've got being honest completely checked. Boom, boom, we're done. Now I'm gonna turn to thought life. So let's count these verses. One, two, three. These are all gonna be on the same page. So one, two, th so I only need one tap. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, so I have 14, I need 14 tabs. So I planned ahead. Thoughts, that's going to be blue. All right, so I said 14. These are my blue tabs right here. And I think that this is all. Let's, let me count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So maybe I have some extra ones on that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, so I guess I just have some extra tabs. Hold on one second. Or is it these pale blues? Yeah, I should have been more descriptive here. Let's see. You can see how being organized is so important. Do, 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 do. All right, no, I'm gonna go with that. All right, that's our blue. So I've got I've got two extra ones for this. So that's not a problem. All right, so let's go ahead. All right, so we're gonna go through Colossians 3, 2, 902. All right, so Colossians 3, 2, and this is about our thought life. Colossians 3, 2. Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. Such a good reminder. So I'm actually going to do a different highlighter color so that I don't, I can see the difference with this one. So Colossians 3, 2, and I'm going to highlight this. All right. Oops. And then I'm going to tag this and I'm going to put it right there. Oh, I think I need to put it right on the page. There we go. And then I'm going to, so it's right next to, this is to there, and I'm going to, look, you can even do this, and I'm going to say, thoughts. All right. So we've got that one right there. All right. So we're going to check that and go to Psalms 26.2. Psalms 26, 2. Put me on trial, Lord, and cross-examine me. Test my motives and my heart. All right, I'm going to tab this. And write out thoughts. Now this one, you're going to see how you can do multiple verses on one tab. So we're going to go to Philippians 2, 2 through 8. Now that I've got these tabs in here, it's going to be harder for me to find it without just looking it up. 899. My daughter should be Coming home from school soon. All right, Philippians 2, 2 through 8. So we're going to go to 2. And then it's 2, verse 2 through 8. Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another and working together with one mind and purpose. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equal equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. 
He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being when he appeared in human form. He humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on the cross. So that's Philippians 2, 2 through 8. And I think that's such a good verse about our thinking because it's reminding us of how we think towards others and of ourselves in line with how the Lord would uh, would and how he would want us to. So I'm going to highlight that, as you can see, and then I'm going to add the tab. Oh, I think I got two right there. I'll do it right there. And I will write that. All right. And then now we'll do Philippians 3 because remember we had several verses in um, the same tab. So you can see I've got my tab right here. And then I'm going to go right into 313. And 313 is... No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. So that is huge. And um, I'm actually going to make it also with 14. I press on to, to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize of which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. I think that's so important. And then you see here that you still are within the same page here. So I'm going to do Philippians, where are we? 4, 8. So I'm going to go to Philippians 4, and I'm going to go to verse 8. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. How fabulous is that? All right. All right, so now we are going to go back to Psalms, and we are going to go to Psalm 56. Psalm 56, 3 through 4. But when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. I will praise God for what he has promised. I trust in him, so why should I be afraid? What can mere mortals do for me? So that is um, a great prayer for our thought life. All right. And then Psalm 94. Uh, let's see. I, there we go. Psalm 94, 19. When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. So I've highlighted that verse. And then I'm going to tag it. And I'll do it right here. Thoughts. All right, and if you have the right pen, you can literally write it right there, but my pen, it um, doesn't work out very well for that. And now I am moving over into 1 Peter 1.13. 1 Peter 9.34. 9.34. You can see how this will just absolutely change your prayer life and help you to just pray and pray and pray. Oops, let's see, I passed it. First Peter 1 Peter 1.13, which is right here. So prepare your minds for action and exercise self-control. Put all your hope in the gracious salvation that will come to you when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. So how you would pray that is you would say, Dear Heavenly Father, I'm asking that you help prepare my mind for action and exercise self-control. I pray, Lord, that you help me put on all of your hope in the gracious salvation that will come to me when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. Father, um, I pray these prayers help me to focus on my mind and my thoughts that they are uh, good and pleasing to you. Or you could also say something to the effect of, Lord, I'm claiming 1 Peter 
1 13 to you and then you read the verse in Jesus' name amen so those are the two different ways in which you can claim those verses so i'm going to tag this and write out thoughts all right so i'm at now i'm going to mark 7 21 and that's right before Luke, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are the Gospels. And I'm going to 721. Uh, for from within, out of a person's heart, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, wickedness, deceit, lustful desires, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. Um, so that I'm going to include as a... First, because it's out of our heart that our thoughts are also coming. And so we need to pray that we have a good thought pattern. And that is Mark 7, 21. So I'm going to tag that and write in thoughts. All right. Romans 12, 2 is the next one on this list. I think we already had a verse in Romans, Romans 12. You can see how the Bible is starting to look really pretty. Romans 12, 2. You know that when you were still pagans, you were led astray and swept along in worshiping speechless idols. So I want you to know that no one speaking by the Spirit of God will curse Jesus, and no one can say Jesus is Lord except the Holy Spirit. And I'm choosing this over our thoughts because... Um, we can be led astray and swept along in worshiping sp speechless idols. And remember, idols to us today, they might not mean, um, you know, like wooden statues. They could be, what are you focusing on that you are putting on the throne before Christ? Um, what is more important on the throne? And what are you spending your time and energy and thoughts on and making an idol outside of Christ? So let's see, Deuteronomy 30, 19, 139, all right, Deuteronomy 30, 19, Today I have given you the choice between life and death, between blessing and curses. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. I'm going to highlight that verse. Okay. And tag it and write out thoughts so that we can choose life and life. Thoughts, thoughts that give us life. All right, 2 Timothy 1 7 is the next verse. 9 14. All right, almost there. All right, 2 Timothy, we're here in 2 Timothy. 1 7 is the verse for us. 1 7. As a result, you have become an example to all the believers in Greece, both Macedonia and um, Achaia. Oh, wait, I meant to do this one. So you received the message with joy from the Holy Spirit in spite of the severe suffering it brought you. In this way, you imitated both us and the Lord as a result. So I needed one verse above that. And this is important because. They are choosing how they are thinking. They are choosing how they are going to respond based on their suffering. And they're using the strength of the Holy Spirit in order to have a positive thought life and end up having good reactions and responses. And so that's why I decided to incorporate that verse, because we all go through suffering in our life and how we choose to build our thought life based on those, um, those thoughts is, is important to us. And... Oh my gosh, I just literally got a bonus verse. This is hilarious. I highlighted 1 Thessalonians 6 through 7 and it actually fit. And I was supposed to do first or 2 Timothy 1 7. This is hilarious. I just got a bonus verse. 
Wow, and I had a bonus tab. Isn't that hilarious? Second Timothy 1, 7. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Oh my gosh, this is the verse I had. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. But that is so funny because that other one actually matched. Wow, oh my gosh, okay. Well, I got a bonus first. I got a bonus first. All right. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. All right, so now that I did 2 Timothy, all right, I'm now in Exodus 34. So we're gonna go back here. Look at how it's getting built out. Looks so cute. And then when you add all these extra tabs, it's going to look amazing. So, oh my gosh, it's so funny. Exodus 34, you guys are probably like, what is she doing? Exodus 34, seven. I lavish unfailing love to a thousand generations. I forgive iniquity, rebellion, and sin, but I do not excuse the guilty. So that's good because that is a good thought to remember that he lavishes unfailing love to a thousand generations. Um, so I'm going to make sure that I am holding that thought captive in my mind. All right. 2 Corinthians 10, 5. We are almost done here. 2 Corinthians 8, 82. Eight eighty two. All right, so we're in Second Corinthians ten five is the verse that we had selected, and it is right here. We destroy every good or every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. Okay, I'm gonna tag it. And this one looks like it kind of fits in the center so it's visible. Tag it. I'm going to write thoughts right there. All right. And then that was 2 Corinthians. So we're almost done. Proverbs 23, 7, which is right after Psalms. Proverbs 23, 7. All right. They are always thinking about how much it costs. So that is a verse to be mindful. It's kind of like in finances, but you can be mindful of that. That would be a good verse to pray over my son, that he's thinking about his finances and being mindful because he's in that phase where he wants to squander away all of his money. And I can pray for him of, about that. And then Isaiah uh, 26.3. So I'll go to Isaiah 5.17. Five, okay, so Isaiah 26.3. All right, you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all those whose thoughts are fixed on you. That is such a good verse. All right, so I'm gonna tab that. And write that out. All right, so, so far I have being honest and thought life completed right here. So I am going to do myself a big check. And I have worked those through into my themes. And then later on, I've still got the identity in God. So that's going to be a huge one. Um, that's the carryover. I've got purpose, being a light in the world, Bible verses on a softened heart, a humble spirit. So I've got lots of other verses to work through. Um, so wanted to give you an idea. Now you see it. And um Comment below and like and subscribe. Share this video, Sister Rita. Is super excited that you're here. And I will do a flip through when I get completed with my Bible, my prayer Bible that will help to encourage um, my prayer life. Thanks so much, Sister Rita. Love you. Bye.